I'm Mar Jennings, America's top lifestyle expert, known for my six casual luxury design principles. I call my world Life on Mars because it's a universe of cohesive design made simple and smart. I renovate and design homes from top to bottom, inside and out, and reveal how casual luxury is the cure for all design dilemmas. Real designs, real budgets, and real people. Out of this world makeovers, right here in Connecticut. Green Isle was a big success. It was a lot of work. <laughs> One house. One house. But think of all the stuff you did. Right, you did from top to bottom. You did inside, inside and out, out. Including the kitchen sink, <laughs> and there were two of them. And the O'Kanes themselves were the best. amazing the right, best. to work with. I hope you had a nice rest. I'm rested. I'm ready to go. Are you sure? I am ready to go. You know, we know that you love staying close to home, being here in fantastic Westport, but what if I could bring you like a more than one project? Tell me more. You've been doing a really good job at like lots of real estate transactions lately. So what if we combine both of those things together? You have my attention. Okay, all right. So here's the thing. On your street, you've turned all those houses, right? Yes. Okay. There's new neighbors in every single one of those people. Correct. I think I could get them all to be part of this. And what if we did the neighborhood of Mark Believe? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Only you can crave that. No, come on. So you could totally do it. I think it would be amazing. You could like renovate. Everybody needs something done. Some people need everything. Some people need one or two rooms. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. And what I love about it is that the new trend right now is about really focusing on small spaces and giving them big design details. Well, I'm I'm really glad you like this idea. <laughs> because guess what? Tomorrow, those Tomorrow. new neighbors across the street, Bob and Andrew Arnold, they're gonna meet with you and they wanna get going. Boy, you're not wasting any time, are you? Nope. Wait, I just bought my white box. <laughs> I can't even enjoy them. We'll go run around a little bit. Okay, oh my <laughs> God, this is so exciting. Oh my goodness. Since the success of last season of Life on Mars, the Home Makeover Show, and I finished up with Green Isle, well, my phone has been ringing. And of course, I also have my real estate license because after all, I'm a lifestyle expert with a license to sell. And I am thrilled. I am so excited because the commute's going to be easy and I get to use my six core design principles in my own neighborhood, the houses that I look at and drive by each and every day. Let me break down what I'm doing this year. I'm focusing on across the street at the Nook, then next door to my house at the bungalow, then to the other side of my house, the Dow House, then back across the street to the farmhouse with more renovations scheduled this season. We're upping the ante this year, but most importantly, we're gonna focus on small spaces with big design and great design principles. First up is Bob and Andrea. Hey, hey Andrea. how are you, Mark? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. So I met Bob and Andrea at the Spotted Horse. I thought a local downtown hotspot would be fantastic. Both of them are the nicest individuals that I could ever ask for in a neighbor. And of course, they break down the scope of the project. So there's a lot of pressure on me. So I'm excited about coming on board, but tell me, what's this project? So we absolutely love the street, the house, and we just feel like it needs a little more space for us to entertain, have our daughter be able to sleep over. So we want the house a little bigger. Okay. We, we would like a um, master bedroom and bath. And so this is an addition? Yes, we want an addition. We would wow. like an addition okay. to Great. the nook. Do you feel that this is your final destination? I this feel house? that way, yes. <laughs> yes. Getting my real estate license has been really beneficial, not only on a professional level, but on a personal level as well. And I was excited to call their realtor and let them know that they have the house. The question I have for you is, how much time do I have to do this? How is five months? <laughs> <laughs> Can you do five. it in five months? Five. Five. Okay, so I have to get busy. I have yeah. to pull in some favors for sure. Well, we really want to spend the next phase of our life in this 
house, and we want it to be a comfortable place that feels like home. I think there's something to be said about an individual or a couple that takes the character and the charm of something that's existing and elevates it. We're taking what you love about it, location, charm, character, and we're going to now infuse it with an addition that will have the same kind of pulse mm -hmm. of the existing house. Well, we're excited to have you. <laughs> I feel I want to give you a little something for welcoming you to the street, welcoming you to the nook, and that is I'm going to give you a Bevelo gas lantern. I was inspired when I was in the South and I went to New Orleans and I saw them and I came here to Westport and I realized, oh my goodness, they're here as well. So I added one. So I think it's oh fantastic. Gosh to put one in front of your property as well. What do you think? I'm so excited about that. I've seen a lot of people come and go on this street. This is the first time I'm seeing this owner have an investment for long term. They're not looking to flip. They're not looking for a short term. They're looking to make this their primary final destination. And you gotta love that. To the nooks. And so glad you're, we have you on our team. Oh, I'm <laughs> thrilled. Thank you so much. Thank you. So there's a lot of different personalities and you never quite know how they're going to jive together. Adventure Park was the perfect solution. Paul was headed across on that zip line and all of a sudden we saw him struggling. My butt was one way, my head was another way, my feet was a third way. When getting out the door is a challenge, finding a new home can feel impossible. You need someone who really knows the market. It's time for Elliman. The thing about your first real job is that it means your first real apartment. And that means your first real party. You need someone who knows how you roll. It's time for Elliman. I'm redesigning everyone on my street. And first up is Bob and Andrea, the homeowners that live at the Nook. They want to build a new extension to their existing home. They want a sitting room slash library, dining room, garage, master bedroom, master bath, a laundry room, and some much needed closets. Here's the plan. We're going to add onto the back left side of the existing footprint of the house. This makes room for a new garage, a library sitting room, a dining room, and a front entryway. The plans help the addition blend into the existing house, adding charm and character. First up, we need to say goodbye to that old garage. Unfortunately, we could not incorporate it into our existing design. And then it's time for the new foundation. Talk to me, Jack. Well, we're ready to pour. Okay. Got the vapor barrier set. Uh, truck should be here within five or ten minutes. Okay. And we're going to get the uh, slab ready for tomorrow. And uh, tomorrow morning, the framing crew is going to be here. Start so framing. we're on schedule. We're on schedule. The builder on this project is Jack Daly, and I'm so thrilled to be working with him. He has an impeccable reputation. And Jack, welcome to Life on Mars. Hey Kat, it's Mar. Well, I have a great opportunity for you. I could really use your help. I'm a firm believer there's no I in team. So when I have the opportunity of bringing people together and to do something that everyone can contribute and help, I think that's always a fantastic idea. See you soon. Now we know that we're using a lot of the same team members from last year, but we're also introducing some new team members as well that you're gonna see more of them. Okay, so there's a lot of different personalities and you never quite know how they're going to jive together. Adventure Park was the perfect solution because not only are we totally outside our comfort zone, but we come together and we're going to do this together as a team. What we love to do is really use nature and use the trees. And if you look around, you will see that we've built courses kind of going through the trees. They're also stacked on top of one another. It's really about families. We have children as young as five, and we've had as old as 96. Thank you so much. What a Thank fantastic you. experience, and we're really looking forward to it. Thank it's you. It's my pleasure. Okay. I need gloves too. You now. might want those bigger ones. Yeah. I need like the jaw. I need baseball mitts. It's I'm Paul, and I work on Mars' team with a couple of different things. One of the things I do is when he has private clients or speaking engagements, I negotiate those and schedule those, but uh, primarily I'm the head writer on this show. Does that fit? Yeah. Oh, good, yeah. good, good. Perfect. Okay. You're a little big on me anyway. 
I'm Yvonne. It's nice to be back on season two. You might remember me from season one. And I'm kind of like gum on his shoe. You know how he loves his shoes, so I'm kind of stuck. What? What? That's how you store them? I'm Kat May, and I am new here for season two. I'm going to be helping Mar. I'm the organizational expert and lifestyle correspondent, and I'm so thrilled to be part of the team and really, really excited to see what Mar has in store. Let's do it. Oh. Season two. Yeah. Woo! You guys follow me. Okay, we're going to follow. We're going to follow her. Nelly. We're going to follow Nelly. Yeah. We're just going to not get lost. So Nelly takes the time to tell us exactly how to put on all our gear. And they taught us this little dance. Waist, legs, shoulders, chest. Okay, you guys gonna have to do my dance later. Oh. You gotta remember. I'll, I'll never forget, it was so easy. First you put your head through. Then hips. And then you blink three times, I think. I oh, know, that's terrible. I'm definitely doing it wrong. I'm definitely doing it wrong. Okay. You don't know the crowd you're dealing with. <laughs> <laughs> This is all about having some fun coming together because we have a lot of work to do. So uh, let's enjoy it while we have the time. Yes. yes. And remember this moment because we won't have it again for a while. <laughs> right. We've got to have some fun. Right. right. Let's go. Okay, rows. I'm just gonna tell you right now, this is a relationship breaker for me. <laughs> the, 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 the rope? Yeah. It's not as bad as it looks. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're doing the sideways, really, that's smart. Do that. So we're about to start going across this really strange looking bridge that was made out of a bunch of different strings, it looked like to me. Anyway, everyone else is like scooting across, like Mar and, and Kat and Yvonne are like, Doot. and I'm like, well, no problem, right? So I start out there, and then it's like, uh, oh, no. it got bad. Paul was headed across yeah. on that zip line, and all of a sudden we saw him struggling. He was wobbling a little on the rope. My butt was one way, my head was another way, my feet was a third way. I thought for sure he was going to drop a nugget. So then, like a chorus of angels, all these people start yelling instructions at me. See how you're on three ropes right now? Right, right. Lean over to the ones on your toes. And I have to say, it kind of really helped. They saved literally my butt from hanging off a tree. There you go. You did it! So I was so proud to see that everyone was giving Paul advice, and I realized that my plan really came to fruition. Everyone was coming together as a team. Incredible, awesome. right? Can't we believe we did that? That was so cool. This was the best team building event and it brings a brand new meaning to playing outside. It sure does. And listen, what is one of my biggest principles? Incorporate Mother Nature. All right. right, and we did just we that. Did we were in nature. We, we totally did it. Let's go, people. Season two. So I'm sitting in my office just working as I normally do and I have the best views of looking out to the street. And of course, all of a sudden I see this table that's being tossed aside. What the? When the housing market is particularly challenging, when isn't it? Find the agent who can find the answers. <laughs> it's time for Element. When it's time for the next chapter, you want to find a buyer who will value your home as much as you did. It's time for Element. I'm redesigning everyone on my street. And first up is Bob and Andrea, the homeowners that live at the Nook. They want to build a new extension to their existing home. Let's go into the new area here. This is going to be the entrance area and the brand new, let me help my cameraman. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this is going to be the new sitting area. There's going to be a fireplace and the dining room is going to be off to the back there. We are accounting for a closet space underneath the staircase. However, it's not a very large closet. Jack has done a really fantastic job in sealing off the original part of the house, both here and on the second floor. The reason why I did that is because it 
creates minimal damage to the primary residence while the homeowners are still living there. We will walk through here. We're gonna have a nice, gracious pantry, and then you come right through this area, and this is gonna be the brand new dining room area. And we're gonna have some doors over here that take you to a little terrace and then out to the side lawn. You see the brook is on that side over there. So this is a really cozy, great little place to have uh, dinners. On this side, we're going to have a fireplace. A beautiful oval window comes over here and it's gonna be a sitting area. We're gonna have coffered ceilings, a little bar area over here completes the first floor design. So this is really coming together really nicely. So I'm sitting in my office just working as I normally do and I have the best views of looking out to the street and of course all of a sudden I see this table that's being tossed aside. What the? I immediately jump up what? and go right outside to rescue it. Have they learned anything from me yet? Turns out that this is part of a complete table. This table has been with Bob and Andrea for 39 years. So when they first got married, you know, just like many young couples, money's an issue. So they pulled together and bought a small dining room table. This dining room table was with them for many, many years. It ended up being in the cast aside and placed in an attic, in a basement, and in storage. I thought, you cannot throw this table away. So I knew who to call, Sibyl. She was going to completely redo this table and give it a brand new life. Sibyl, how are you? How are Good you? to see you. Good to see you, Mark. Bonjour. Bonjour. All right, so uh, I have a little project for you. Yes. Ta-da! Oh, okay. look at that. It's so cute. <laughs> look at this. Look at all that detail and the casters. Isn't this, that a great piece? This is going to be so much fun to work on. You know, all this, all this wood here is going to be so nicely uh, painted and we're going to be able to very slightly distress it. We're going to give a, such a soul to that table that will not believe it. And I love the fact that I could put it up against the wall. Yes. And that way it doesn't come too far into the room, but yet we still get to see all the beauty of all the oh, it's fantastic. woodwork. Fantastic. It's a great table. Okay. So, uh, of course, I need, I need it fast. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's do it. All right. Let me put it in your car let's, for you. Let's do it. The Arnolds, the owners, finally get to see where we are along the way of our timeline and the jobs that still need to be done. I have huge butterflies in my stomach. I, I, I think they're more like bats. They're getting bigger and bigger each time I do this. The Nook is really starting to take on a life of its own. And now that Jack is here, I can go over a couple of things, including making some last minute changes. Sometimes what's good on paper doesn't translate very well when it actually is being designed. This is going to be a touch latch type of closet scenario, but if we make it a window seat area, because it is the right, right? Yeah. height, right? Yeah. then we can put a little cubby area on this side and then perhaps move and create a closet on the other side over here, which will be right across from the staircase. So it kind of makes sense to have it over there. Well, we can do that now because the original plan showed that this door was going to be here. So now right. we, have, we have the space. Because we actually, moved it. We moved it. So now we have the space here, which should be, um, you know, I think, I think it would be uh, a better layout. Right. And it'll a, open from this side. From this side, because you're going to have a door over here under the, the, um, on the staircase. Okay. You know, so this is going to be like a, uh, you know, utility hallway. So right. Closet, closet, and then some bookshelves. It was time to start furnishing the nook. So I took this opportunity to bring Kat up to speed. 
to introduce her to downtown Westport and to learn a little bit more about my casual luxury design Isn't principles. This, a great store? this is amazing, Mar. I've been admiring your principles, but to actually have you here to break it down for me is a real treat. Being new here, I was a little nervous at first coming into this group of people that had already been working together, but everybody has been so welcoming, so nice, and I'm really excited to be working with this awesome group of people. Okay, so I'm committing to two leather chairs in the library. Okay. I want to play off of the dark, rich color, which is the brown. Mm -hmm. So we're going to need the absolute perfect pillows. I'm kind of leaning towards something a little graphic as well. Mm -hmm. Remember, we have the size of carpet, so that's quiet. Mm -hmm. So we can afford to have a little bit of a pattern. So here are my core design principles. Right here. The first one is represent Mother Nature. Number two is embrace light and reflection. Number three is natural materials and colors. Number four is always repurpose. Number five is repeat shapes and patterns. And number six is consider size and scale. All right, so all in all, a lot of great stuff, a lot of good information. Yes, I really feel like I'm Mars certified now. <laughs> certified crazy, some people <laughs> might say. But yes, I think you get it. And now that you have the experience of shopping with me, we're ready to go. Let's go, let's do this. The Arnolds, the owners, finally get to see where we are along the way of our timeline and the jobs that still need to be done. No matter how hard I've worked and how much time and energy and sweat, you never really get that seal of approval until they finally see it and they like it, and they tell you they like it. Now, sometimes you can walk away and never see them again. That's not going to happen. These people are across the street. I have huge butterflies in my stomach. I, I, I think they're more like bats. They're getting bigger and bigger each time I do this. Okay, here we go. Come on in, guys. So I'm showing them around with Jack, and we're certainly talking about all the spaces, and they have their poker face. They're, they're impossible to read. I don't know if they love it, if they hate it, if they're ready to fire me. Next time on Life on Mars, the home makeover show. What are you thinking? I'm not the boss, but it looks too big. Oh. That's exactly what I think. All right, well, we're definitely gonna need a couple of those for mm -hmm. sure. Now I discovered some beautiful things for the homeowners, and of course, while I was here, I could not resist picking up a couple of things for myself as well. Well, you have to leave now, because now it's my job to get this ready so I can show Bob and Andrea their brand new addition. Life on Mars, the home makeover show, is proudly brought to you by Douglas Elliman Real Estate.